Hey cruisers, Kendra Summer here, and today we are talking about my favorite topic, movie cars. Everything from the hero car to the background car and all kinds of American sheep. So unless you've been living under a rock, you definitely know that Amber Heard has been in the news a lot lately. So today we're gonna highlight all the vehicles from Amber Heard's biggest feature to date, Aquaman. Yes, this movie does take place pretty much completely underwater, but there's still some great all-American sheet metal to discuss. Let's dive in. See what I did there? Chevy Shut Up Strong with this 1983 CK series pickup, driven by the title character Aquaman, aka the hunky Jason Momoa. Come on, ladies, you're all thinking it. That was awesome. Now, ironically, we meet Aquaman on land at the beginning of the film. You that fish boy from the TV? It's fish man. What do you want? Spoiler alert, but this movie's been out for about four years, so if you haven't seen it already, it's kind of on you. Anyways, there he is. We see Aquaman. He's with his dad, Tamora Morrison, who's having a great year, I might add, with Star Wars and all these other great franchise opportunities. It's a much better year than uh, what our buddy Amber Heard is having. Human fecal man. I say that before the tsunami came in and completely destroyed this classic square body truck. I would definitely hope that Aquaman has insurance you cannot get these vehicles cheap anymore. I did a really quick Google search before we did this video. High end on this type of vehicle. You're looking at, you know, mid 30 and up. Dead. These vehicles definitely know how to make a splash. As much as I enjoy yucking it up with you guys, this is a car show and today it's a truck show, so we should probably get back to talking about the vehicles that make these movies great. This third generation square body pickup truck was a home run for Chevrolet and sold for nearly two decades. That's a long time. As the pickup craze grew in the late 1970s and mid 80s, the in-cab creature comforts, as my dad would say, began to dramatically improve like power windows, and power locks, which you definitely want to make sure those work, especially if you're going to try to keep really valuable items in your truck, like Tritons. Fun fact, this group was the first generation to be designed with computers, and uh, that's pretty crazy what, to imagine. Another fun fact, the third generation CK marked the introduction of a dual rear wheel pickup truck. Big dually. Hey, I live down in the South. I know that's a big deal. Now, like all good things, they must come to an end. And in 91, GM pulled the plug on the third generation, but that does not take away from the fact that the third generation was the longest running CK series pickup with 18 model years. Way to go, third generation, way to go. Now in real life, Aquaman ditched the bow tie in favor of the blue oval. That's right, Jason Momoa drives the exclusive Earth Roamer XVLTI, a custom-made overlanding rig based off the Ford F550 platform. The 6.7 liter Power Stroke V8 remains unchanged from stock, but the show gets really interesting when you step into the rest of the truck. The cabin has a king bed and a full indoor and outdoor kitchen. In fact, Jason showed up to the premiere of Aquaman in this truck, along with soon-to-be ex-wife, Lisa Bonet. When Jason and Lisa unfortunately split up, Jason parked the Earth Roamer in his friend's backyard and lived in his truck full time. Momoa was very involved with the construction of his XVLT, which is rumored to have cost as much as $1 million. Definitely a ride fit for the Ocean Master. Well, there you have it, guys. A few cool rides from Aquaman. Now, remember, Aquaman 2, The Lost Kingdom, comes out March 17th, 2023. We cannot wait to watch it. And in the meantime, make sure to follow us and never miss any kind of content that we have coming up. We'll see you soon, guys. Thank you.